Um, I'm going to I'm going to give you this, and I'll, and I'll give you a warning. This okay. comes apart. <laughs> Very first day, I, my first one of these, I literally almost fumbled and had it pieces on the ground, and I don't think Dexter would have liked that too much. So I just wanted to let you know that. But congratulations uh, to you guys, to the family for this. Um, you know, hopefully you can find a place to, to set this and be a reminder of all the generations, all the work to get to this place. And we just want to say, here's to great success and to 100 more years. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Commissioner McWhorter and Tracy, uh, all the members of your staff who uh, have done this for us. I, I accept this gladly on behalf of everyone you see over there on that wall. Um, that is a portrait that was taken from a picture that was taken in the early 50s, just uh, over there in the next section over. And uh, it, they're actually standing under a Dr. Pepper bottle cap <laughs> electric clock wow. that is still hanging to really? this day in the very same spot. <laughs> and it actually, it actually keeps true. accurate time. So uh, that is James P. Shelley, uh, my grandfather. Next to him is my dad, the eldest son, Harry. And then the middle son that was in business with them is uh, John P. Shelley, who was uh, usually went by Red. Everybody knew him as Red. And then my grandmother, Lucille Shelley, uh, is in the portrait next to her. That one was taken a few years later, I think in the 60s, but that wrapping counter is still over there as well. Uh, we don't wrap as many packages as we used to, but uh, it's still there. And uh, those people were so passionate about this business, this community, uh, this county. Uh, they would say often, and I know they've said to some of you guys too, that we don't get up in the morning and go to the store to work we get up and go to the store to visit with our friends. And that's how they felt about everybody here. And, and I'm sure that everyone here could tell some story about them and, and the impact they had on their life and as they would do the same thing uh, about them. Uh, but we are just, accepting them in their behalf because they are, they are the ones that put this together. And if I could, I'd like to invite the Shelleys that are here. If y'all if y'all could come up and to, to the right or, or, left, or left of us. I also want to thank you. Usually, when you get that many, this many of us together, it's a sad occasion. Uh, so, thank you for allowing this to be a happy occasion that, that all of us could be together. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and just real quickly, uh, I'm going to start on this end. That's Bobby Shelley, and he is. Uh, I'm sorry. Granddaddy's nephew. Yeah, it's Granddaddy's nephew and his wife Sue, and then JP. We've got several JPs uh, in our family. And that's JP, who is Red's grandson. Tanya. Did, did see Tanya, who belongs to Bobby and Sue. Uh, that's my daughter, Kayla. <laughs> and uh, next to her is JP's brother Michael, who is also Red's grandson. My sister Cheryl, my wife, that uh, is the bedrock of, of everything that I am. You know, she's uh, she is so important to continuing to run this business. She's very. OCD organizationally, <laughs> and, she's, and she's great at uh, conflict resolution. And you have to have those traits when you're dealing with a business like this. 
And then Anthony is JP's son. Rubel is the other brother. Uh, he, he is the baby brother. Uh, there was quite a few years, I think 17 years, between my father and him. Uh, he chose not they ran to. Me out <laughs> he chose not to come into the business, but Dad and JP, all the time when they talked about Rubel, they always said he is the brother who got all the brains in the family, <laughs> and they were so proud of him. He uh, he has a Vanderbilt PhD, and he has written and published numerous books. The most recent is available at, uh, on Amazon. It's available on Amazon as we speak. And then he is uh, standing next to him is Tisha, who is my uh, niece and Sherilyn's daughter, and then my other daughter, Kara. Uh, and we are just... All, on behalf of all of this entire Shelley clan that you see here, thank you so much. I, you. I, I do want to recognize too uh, some of our employees. We we've had like Alvis Blake and Ricky Tigner and uh, Christy and Larry Cox down on the down on the yard. We um, Sylvia. So Jimmy Grantham, uh, we have got those many people that have worked here for like three and four decades. Um, not three or four years, three and four decades. And then we have customers like Monroe Willis, I see back there, who uh, is the largest contractor in Middleton and probably the largest in Hardeman County. Uh, it's been doing business with us since the 60s. And it, a very close personal friend to JP's. They, right up until the time he passed away, they were eating lunch together every day. And, you know, it's just so many of you, and I can't, I know we're running out of time, and I can't point out everybody, but just want you to know how much all of you mean to us, your continued support. Uh, we just couldn't be happier uh, for everything. And thank you for being here. You honor us with your presence today. We have got food and coffee and dirty snowman lattes and <laughs> sweet ice cream. I mean, there is a, a lot of food, a plethora of food over there. So please uh, enjoy and partake. Yes. Thank you all for being here. Could you get a good picture of our family? Everyone